All right, guys, let's talk today about training the back. Uh, now, I think it's funny that we call the back a body part. The back actually is made up of a lot of different muscles. It's a huge area. Uh, but we're going to narrow it down to a few main muscles and talk about how to train the back fully to give you that wide V taper look and give you that thickness uh, look to your back. So with the back, you have like the traps, the rhomboids, the lats, and then the erector spinae muscles, which are the muscles that are along the, the sides of the spine. You want to kind of work all of those with uh, the exercises that you pick. Now there is easily, I can name maybe 50 exercises for the back, but they're not all created equal. And if you had to narrow it down to just three exercises, uh, I have picked the three that I think you should include in your routine that I think are the absolute most effective. So if you only had to pick three exercises, do the following three that I'm about to show you right now. In fact, if you just did these three exercises, you would develop uh, a pretty well-developed, balanced-looking back. So here we go. All right, so no back workout is complete without one of the kings of all exercises, the deadlift. Now, to be fair, the deadlift isn't really a pure back exercise. In fact, the prime movers when you're doing a good deadlift are the muscles of the hips, the glutes, uh, and the hamstrings. But you would be very hard pressed to find any strength athlete or bodybuilder or fitness coach or personal trainer that won't say that deadlifts build impressive backs. In fact, the one thing that you'll notice from doing deadlifts is you build a lot of back thickness. That's the, that 3D look that they say where you could see the muscle kind of come off the bone basically this way. Um, the deadlifts really work the erector spinae muscles quite a bit. Those are the muscles that run along the side of the spine. You'll feel a lot of that mid-back thickness come out because of the need to keep good posture. You also will even feel this in your lats. It's kind of a complete back exercise. Definitely one of my favorites. Definitely something you should do if you want to have develop a nice looking back. So let's talk about the deadlift here for a second. The form with the deadlift is I want to stand pretty close to the bar. Now, when I look down, I want to make sure that the bar is about halfway between my toes and my shin. So I'm not going to be right up against the bar, and I'm also not going to be too far away from the bar, kind of in between the two. So in between my toes and my shin, that's the starting position. Now, when you get ready to do this deadlift, first thing you want to do is learn how to break at the hips. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hip hinge. So my back, my low back, my upper back is staying in the same posture. I'm just kind of bending at the hips, sticking my butt out a little bit, and then I'm going to squat down with my knees. So break the hips, bend the knees a little bit. When you go down and grab the bar, you want to grab the bar right outside your shins. Look straight ahead with good posture, and you're going to push through with your feet. Stand up nice and tall, pull the shoulders back. Everything's braced. Then you're going to, again, break the hips, squat it down, hips back, place it on the floor, give it a second, and then repeat the deadlift. Great, great exercise. The next exercise I'm going to show you is another mid-back exercise. It doesn't involve any hip action, but there is a lot of stabilization involved. And this is a barbell row. Again, one of my favorite exercises. I would put it up in the top 10 of uh, top muscle building exercises. So with the barbell row, what I like to tell people to do is bend their knees a little bit and then again break at the hips. But the knees now are fixed and the position for the barbell row should be right about here. So I'm not completely parallel to the floor. I'm up at about closer to about 45 degrees, but I'm not way high enough, not too high, right? I'm about right here. You want to grab the bar at about right, right outside shoulder width. I like to use an overhand grip. Brace your core. You're going to pull the bar to your belly button and come right back down. Now, the tempo, you don't need to necessarily pause at the top. This is what the tempo is going to look like. Okay? Great mid-back thickness exercise. And finally, the third exercise, pull-ups, which I'm going to demonstrate right now. Now, pull-ups really work the lats. Those are the wings that you see on the sides of the back. And the lats make up most of the surface of your back. When you're looking at someone from behind, the lats are the biggest muscles. So with pull-ups, very straightforward. You want to grab a pull-up bar. I like to take a slightly wider than shoulder width grip, overhand grip, and you're going to pull your chest to the bar and then come right back down. Again, this is the tempo. Pull your chest to the bar and right back down. And that is it. That's your combination of exercises. Do those three. I like to do them in that order. Very effective. Look, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I'll answer them for you periodically. Also, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.